Guys, how's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 27, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and just looking at this title, it's not looking good. It says here, Serbia's president, Alexander, shared a cryptic message on social media about a threat to national interest. Difficult days are ahead for Serbia. Guys, let's see what's going on here. This is this is very important stuff here. Um, difficult days are ahead of Serbia. At this moment, it is not easy to say what kind of news we have received in the last 48 hours. They directly threaten our vital national interests, both of Serbia and Spiska, I truly apologize about that word. Now, in the coming days, I will introduce the people of Serbia to all the challenges that lie ahead. It will be difficult, the most difficult so far. We will fight. Serbia will win. This is coming out from the president, Alexander. Difficult days are ahead for Serbia. It will be difficult, the most difficult so far. He says more information will be released in the coming days. What's going on here? The sleeping giant just found himself in another biblical war. And you guys already know they're allies with the bear. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, but we do have more breaking news updates, guys. We have some very important updates here. Authorities had just called off the search and rescue mission in the cargo ship event. Just now, authorities announced that they are calling off the search and rescue mission in Baltimore, Maryland, after a large cargo ship leaving port lost power twice before crashing into the Scott Key Bridge, causing it to collapse. Now, the incident took place earlier this morning around 1.30 a.m. Eastern Time, after many hours of searching for in the cold and dark water. The two were found with one being in tough condition, but officials are now stating that all other six missing are presumed, presumed DEAD. My condolences and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. Mm. Guys, a lot of people are talking about the Obama movie on Netflix. This map right here is a very important map that is not, uh, that is shown in that movie. Uh, leave the world behind. And you see that red arrow? You see that dark red? Well, that's where the uh, bridge event took place. Hmm. Wow. What do you guys think? Leave comments down below. And it's very dark red, which if you look at this side, high, very extremely high alert. It was thrown right at us. It was thrown right at us. But don't get me wrong. There's some dark red here. There's some other dark reds here. But the darkest one is in the East Coast. You see that upper one? That's the bridge that took place 1.30 a.m. in Baltimore. Hi. <whistles> Was it a cyber that impacted our cargo? Let me show you the picture once again. Ooh. 
Pay attention. Cyber. Remember, guys, I've been posting videos. I've been posting videos about cyber, and we did talk about the cyber uh, yesterday and that 200 million sleeping giant, uh, well, it's like approximately 200 million sleeping giants are being impacted by cyber. This is a very important map here. If you can, please share the video. It's very important to share the video. Man, it's just, it's a, it's a wake-up call. This here is going to hurt. You have a large number of cargo ships spotted holding outside of that region, unable to enter due to the bridge. Wow. And I'll post a video. Northeast Sleeping Giant, the entire Sleeping Giant is going to be impacted. This Again, it's going to be impacted. It's going to be, uh, again, it's going to take a while to, to rebuild. And basically, there's a possibility, some shortages, empty shelves. And so you have uh, large numbers of ships out there. They're trying to uh, unload those uh, containers. And then uh, trucks could pick them up and take them to stores like Walmart and Target and whatever other stores. It seems like that's going to be a major hit. We have another breaking news that came out about 30 minutes ago. Breaking now. Uh, Chesapeake uh, Bay Bridge in, in a palace MD south of the Francis South, excuse me, Francis Scott Key Bridge that collapsed after being impacted by a container ship has been shut down. Another bridge has been shut down. It wasn't hit. It just been shut down for some reason. As of now, the bridge is closed to all traffic due to weather conditions or safety concerns. Is this a some kind of event or something much, much more? All right, there we go. I think this is the Baltimore. And this is the other bridge right here. <sighs> what do you guys think? Leave comments down below. Okay, this one here is a little strange. I wanted to bring this up. Um, This person here... Ryan Garcia, everybody just sharing this information. And I'm like, who is this person? And uh, uh, supposedly, uh, this person put out this information a while back. But it's hard to verify it when there's no date. So something, something big is going to happen in... On the 26th. And so I'm like, yeah, uh, I mean, why crop crop off the date? Why do that? The same person, though, is putting out another information. March the 7th, 2024. June 6th, earthquake bad all right so a lot of people have been sharing this so i just wanted to bring this up now i'm not saying june 6 is going to be a big earthquake but since this person supposedly this person has called the uh the baltimore uh big events to come march 26 uh a lot of people's like well he put this out too he's uh putting out some kind of a uh, prediction of a big earthquake on june the 6th now, again, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but uh, it's, you know, sometimes it's good to share these things because, uh, um, again, just in case things does uh, hit the fan, I mean, it's very important to be aware, <clears throat> be aware of your surroundings. All right. Truly apologize, guys. I have allergies. <clears throat> All right. So it says here, thousands 
of the new groups could be released in mass onto the streets in days, causing a huge event at the southern region communities. It don't stop. It don't stop. Once again, you have the House expected to consider a emergency spending measures to replace the bridge. Again, that's when our money goes to stuff like this. Just looking at them, man. Mm. We have more breaking news updates. This one here is uh is big. More than 1600 planes are hit by mysterious GPS jamming across Europe with the bear feared to be responsible. You know nowadays uh I mean, stuff is getting really intense throughout the entire world. We are seeing stuff uh, that uh, that make us uh, want to prepare ourselves spiritually, physically, and mentally. We have this one here. The French TV channel LCI published five po uh, possible scenario for sending Emmanuel troops to the yellow and blue. We're going to get to this one too. I just want to bring up some more info. Okay, so I think that should be it for now. That should be it for now. Give me a second here. Look at this. Big shout out to Dabu. <laughs> Dabu just posted this about 11 minutes ago. Dabu77. Uh, yeah, another bridge shut down. What's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> Give me a second here, guys. Give me one second. Man, I really miss Dabu on YouTube. He was really good. Him and uh, other Watchmen, really good. All right, so guys, uh, yeah, let's go with this one here. There's no news article or nothing about this story here, but the BNO is really sounding the alarm on this one here. So, um, I, I again, it's a possibility this could be big biblical war. Um, so you have Belarus, you have Serbia, you have multiple lands. You have NAT on the Sleeping Giants. They are getting ready for something big. And this message here, difficult days are ahead for Serbia. The president said, it will be difficult, the most difficult so far. He said more information will be released in the coming days. So what is it? What is it, man? <laughs> Well, I believe it's Serbia and, oh man, I forget the name of the other one. I think it started with the O. There's some great stuff going on between Serbia and, uh, it's not Almania. It's not Almania. It's, some, uh, it's another one. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is big news here, guys. All right, so give me a second here, guys. Oh, it's right here. I want to bring this up. There is going to be a flow of groups coming into the Sleeping Giant, and you need to be aware. You need to be prepared. Thousands of these groups could be released in mass. How many? 
It's going to be a lot. It's a never ending trending. Thousands of these groups could be released in mass onto the streets in days, causing a huge event in the southern region communities as support funding dries up. This is a, I mean, I mean, it got to stop. This got to stop, man. This, uh, this person in the spotlight, he got to go. He got to, it, it's just terrible. I don't know. It's just insane that he's still the sleeping giant leader. It, it, it's just unbelievable. You know, if this was back in the 80s and 90s. They would have took, I mean, taken him out ASAP and said, get out of here, man. What are you doing? You're giving this land to foreigners. <laughs> man. So local gov and nonprofits in the region have long worked with sleeping giants, sudden officials to take these group to sites such as uh, Casa Altas, a Catholic run shelter for the group's family in Arizona or the regional center for the Southern health in Yuma. All right. So that's going to be out there in Arizona. I mean, Arizona, <laughs> Arizona. So, uh, and uh, you guys know that it's the L E F T running that region. So they're not coming through Texas. They, you know, they're going the other way because uh, Texas, uh, they already put up the barriers. But uh, yeah, this one here is just really sad. All right, so you have uh, the four beautiful names. I mean, letters F E M A disperses fund from shelter and services program to entities providing shelter, food, transportation, and support to many who have been. Uh, processed and released from custody while awaiting the outcome of the uh, proceedings. But that federal funding will run out on March 31st. Once again, it says here, the group is promising to be a top issue ahead of this year. November event, as both presumed nominees blame each other for the worsening situation. Now, the sleeping giant leader and his LEFT buddies have condemned the right for tanking a bill that sought to tamp down the number of these groups at the southern region. Now, the four five and the right have held Mr. Burns' policy responsible for the record number of crossing. It's true. This man had three and a half years. Three and a half years. Three and a half years he kept that thing open. Open. The first two years he had Nancy. They had the House and the Senate. And in those two years he left it open. He left the Southern open. And now that uh, you have Johnson and all them taking the spotlight of the uh, Senate, now all of a sudden, Mr. Burns is blaming the rights. It's you guys' fault. You messed it up. Well, you had those first two years, Mr. Burns. You had the House. You had the Senate. You had Nancy. You had them all. You would have fixed it. But you left it open. It says here you have a Newsweek has emailed both the 4-5 and the 4-6 campaigns for comments. Now, these new group releases and reduction in adequate shelter will soar more disorder at the southern region, said, said Diego, uh, the executive director of Pima County Casa Altas, which is expected to stop most operations soon due to lack of federal funding and local dollars available to stay subsidized, legally processed uh, seekers released by BP. Now it says here, I think that's going to lead to a lot of events and a lot more cost across the southern region for folks to get services. As many of the people coming through leave fairly quickly here. 
Mr. Uh, Lopez told the Arizona Republic. Now, once again, Pima County Administrator Jan said that the county cannot afford the roughly $1 million per week. <laughs> wow. That previously would have been covered by the federal funds to keep this new group off the streets in border communities. One million dollars a week. That's uh, basically fifty million dollars uh, a year. Mm. All right, so prepare for this one, guys. Prepare for the uh, thousands of these new groups um, could be released. They could be released in mass onto the streets in days. Let's see what's going on with this story here. I got to uh, guys. Um, yeah, we got to see what's going on here. They canceled the uh, uh, they canceled the search. All right, so this is a very important update. We have to talk about this. And guys, uh, someone also told me, Lewis, uh, they got that scene in the Obama movie, uh, Leave the World Behind. And I did watch the video. I mean, that clip. Uh, it shows like a couple of people like in a beach, and this this big massive cargo ship just coming towards them. And I'm like, run! So they're like, honey, is that ship coming towards us? I'm like, it's going at 100 miles per hour. What do you think? So they was just standing there. I don't think so. I'm like, just run! I, I don't like movies like that. It's like, it, again, there's a ship coming towards you, and you just sit there and have a conversation. It's not going to hit us. That thing is coming towards you. <laughs> but again, it's part of the movie. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of strange. Uh, it looks similar. Um, and from what I heard, that movie, that part scene was recorded in Baltimore, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, guys. I mean, a lot of people sharing that clip is all over uh, Twitter. But uh, I haven't watched the movie, uh, Leave the World Behind. I haven't watched it because, again, uh, I'm not going to be getting no Netflix. Uh, I'm not down with Netflix. I'm not. But, uh, again... I'm gonna have to borrow with someone account, you know, maybe maybe one uh, one of my family members. <laughs> so it says here once again the U.S. Coast Guard and Maryland State Blue announced they were suspending the search for six construction workers who went man missing. The Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsed into the river early Tuesday morning. Now, it says here, during a press uh, conference, officials said they do not believe the six construction workers will be... Oh. oh, man. Very sad. Adding they were suspending search and rescue efforts at 7.30 p.m. Divers are expected to re-enter the water after 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Again, my prayers, prayers and condolences to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. The cold water temperature, low visibility, and impending weather condition all factored into the decision to cease search and rescue operation. We are doing our very best, Maryland Blue uh, told reporters. He explained that uh, the last thing he and others want to do is put divers in the water with so much metal and the breeze from the bridge now rest. Once again, Butler said all it takes is one object striking one of the divers and created additional search efforts. So he was asked by reporters about the possibility of a vehicle being on the bridge when it, you know what, and said there is a this thing a uh, possibility while the Maryland Department of Transportation 
was able to shut down traffic. Butler said it is possible a car could have been on the bridge, though there is no information at this time to support that scenario. All right. So once again, you had a uh, Coast Guard. They were out there for a very, very long time. They tried their very best. I mean, literally, they tried their very best. Give me a second here, guys. We're going to go with this story here. Um, 1,600 planes are hit by mysterious GPS. Uh, is a mis My gut tells me that this could be because of the massive solar flare. You guys already know there was a... Um, give me a second here, guys. Oh, man. This is going to be... Uh, okay, perfect. All right, give me a second. Hopefully, there's no advertisements. All right, there we go. All right, so I believe this one here might have been possibly the solar flare or the blood moon that jammed the uh, GPS. But uh, they're blaming the bear country. They're blaming the bear country. All right, so let's see what's going on here. I truly apologize, guys. Just a little tired. And coming home a little late and uh, two jobs, 13, 14 hours a day. And I uh, just, you know, my eyes are a little tired. I started drinking coffee because coffee just stam uh, uh, stom uh, stomach uh, as a reflex. So I have to drink water. <laughs> so more than 1,600 planes are hit by mysterious GPS jamming across Europe with a bare fear to be responsible. All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. All right, so it says here more than 1,600 planes have been hit by mysterious interference that many fear the bear is behind. Now, planes flying over and around the Baltic Sea in Northern Europe have been suffering technical problems caused by jamming since Sunday with 1,614 planes, mostly civilian, reporting problems since then. You guys already know, even the planes and that uh, leave the world behind. There's a lot of stuff about planes in that movie. So it says here, while most of them appear to be taking place in Polish airspace, Os Osent blogs have reported that planes flying in German, Danish, Swedish, Latvian, and Lithuania airspace have suffered interference problems. Once again, GPS. Mm. Notably, little to no interference appears to be taking place in Belarus. A staunch of the bear ally of Kaliningrad, the bear province separated from the man mainland by sea and land. The planes appear to be suffering from GPS jamming which can confuse pilots as this can make them believe they are in a different location than they actually are. That's kind of creepy. I mean, just imagine uh, we are reaching our destination, New York, but you're actually going to North K. <laughs> just imagine that. Uh, what's Times Square at? It was that big statue out there that looked like Kim Young. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to North K. Oh, man. So uh, it says here, once again, um, ended with 63 hours and 40 minutes. A 14, um, 18 GMT plus one this afternoon. First 24 hours was with full regular power Sweden, Germany, Poland. And after that, almost 40 hours reduced. Uh, to what can be described as covering Polish airspace only. So 
So they are pointing the finger at the bear. But when the bear point finger at the sleeping giant for the strike going on in the bear capital, everybody go, goes nuts. So Newsweek reported that the uptick in interference can largely be attributed to the Canada Grad region, where the bear is believed to have significant resources for the use of electronic uh, warfare. So a Lithuanian defense source told the outlet that the bear armed forces have a wide spectrum of military equipment dedicated for GNSS, that's Global Navigation Satellite System, interference including jamming and spoofing at varying distances, duration, and intensity. A leading military expert said that the bear uh, dominance in the electronics warfare, excuse me, electronic war, should be a wake-up call for the UK military. Once again, you have this person here, Associated Professor of the International Security at University College not London, told Forces.net that the bear particularly has previously had an on edge, uh, excuse me, an edge on his, on this, and they have necessity. The mother of invention over the last two years during the war have actually actively solidified the capabilities in this regard. They had the chance to use it more concretely, uh, and there's a real concern that particularly NATL currently doesn't match that capability. Once again, more than 1,600 planes are hit by mysterious GPS jamming across Europe. The bear feared to be responsible. All right. Let's see what's going on with this story here. So you have uh, Emmanuel acting like King Kong and everything. We're going to take down the bear. Are you with me, sleeping giant? All you hear is crickets. All right, so once again, the French TV, LCI published five possible scenarios for sending Emmanuel camouflage to the yellow and blue. The following options are being considered. <coughs> Number one, the first one, uh, France is building military factories in the yellow and blue, attracting its engineers, okay? Number two, second, France will clear the territory and prepare the yellow and blue country armed forces. Third, France defends Odessa, installing primarily air defense. If their military shoots down the bear target, Paris could enter this biblical war. Fourth, um, France is deploying camouflage to create a protective zone and free the yellow and blue from performing a number of tasks. Fifth, France is uh, fighting together with the yellow and blue armed forces against the bear in the trenches, which in entails a WW3. All right. I don't think that's going to be their plan because, again, guys, I, I mean, you don't put your information out like that because the bear is just going to uh, take advantage and say, OK, so they are planning to do this and this and this. Guys, we have more breaking news about this solar eclipse. We Again, we already talked about this, but we have something here. Air travel could be disrupting from April the 7th, but it's not going to stop there. It's going to go through April 10th. Why the, Why all the way to the 10th? Well, the reason why is because a lot of people, uh, again, a lot of people will be stuck. They're saying that many people will be trapped during the solar eclipse. That's why they're telling people out there to have water and food that could last for three days. Make sure your battery phone, uh, phone, uh, uh, the phone battery is fully charged. Uh, make sure you get everything prepared because it's a possibility 
many will be trapped. Let's see what's going on here, guys. This is an update. I got to talk about this. It's very important. What is this? What in the world is this? And why have to make articles so wide? Wow, this uh yeah, this is not gonna fit in my OBS. This is gonna be really hard. Look at this. Wow. This is coming out from the United States Department of Transportation. Man, you guys got to fix this uh, website. Okay, so this is the map right here. You see that uh, black line? So that's the one. Um, that is the new Madrid seismic zone. If there is an earthquake, let's say a big 7.0, yeah, um, that's not going to be good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's no earthquake during the, uh, solar eclipse. On April the 8th, 2024, a total solar eclipse known as the Great North American Eclipse will transit a narrow path of totality from southwest to northeast across 13 U.S. states. The eclipse will cross North America, passing over Mexico, the United States, and Canada. The total solar eclipse will begin over the South Pacific Ocean. The eclipse path will impact the United States from approximately 1830-1940 UTC time. Now, the purpose of this notice is to inform airmen of the possible impact to air traffic and airborne, excuse me, airports along the eclipse path during the period April 7th, 2024, uh, 1000 UTC through April the 10th, 2024, 0400 UTC. Wow, that thing was so hard to read. They oh hold on guys. Hold on. They have a hold on, they have a time frame here. Oh, look at this. So they have a... this is this is really good. Uh hold on. They have time and dates on well the day is April 8th. But here we go. So The first one that is going to see it is San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas, at 1.33 p.m. CDT, uh, CDT time. That's going to be on April the 8th. Dallas, Texas, at 1.40 p.m. CDT time, April the 8th. Then you have Austin, Texas, at 1.36 p.m. CDT time. Once again, this is all April the eighth little rock arkansas at 1 51 p.m cdt time indianapolis indiana 306 p.m eastern time then you have um toledo ohio at 3 12 p.m eastern time cleveland ohio 3 13 p.m eastern time Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, Erie, Pennsylvania at 3.16 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. Buffalo, New York at 3.18 p.m. Eastern Time. Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, 3.26 p.m. Eastern Time. This is a good map. This is a very good map. Very, very good map. Thank you to the website for putting putting that information. 
<clears throat> um, oh, come on. It's making it hard for me to read this. <clears throat> Aircraft should be prepared for potential airborne holding, uh, reroute or recruits, and slash or expect departure clearance. Guys, I'm going to have to skip this. Uh, I'm going to share this link in my Twitter page. This thing is so small. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm, you know, Paul Lewis. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I mean, again, it's so small. It's really small. Um, also, I don't want to zoom my com uh, the computer and stuff like that. Then I have to refix it and it's too much work. Okay, let's go back onto Twitter and see if there's any more information here. Um, give me one second here, guys. I'm trying to see if there's any updates. Someone just wanted to make a million. 1.3 billion. I, no, 1.1 billion. Someone just won the 1.1 billion. That is a lot of money. Someone in New Jersey. Someone in the state of New Jersey. That's, uh, that's a lot of money, though. <laughs> Uh, one person. I'm trying to see if there's any update. And sometimes, guys, I think the lottery is like uh, fake. Uh, I believe that uh, you know uh, that money is a pass. I mean, again, it, it's just really hard to believe that, uh, especially nowadays, that you know they need money for biblical war and stuff like that. So they will find a way to uh, to get it. I mean, don't get me wrong, some people win it, but uh, uh, when it comes to big ones like that, I just feel like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to uh, put, uh, you know, believe in the um, lottery like that with big numbers. Um, give me a second here. Yeah, it seems like this is going to be all the information. Usually, I make like a one-hour video, but uh, let me just double-check something here. I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in at this uh, one thirty a.m. Um, late-night video. All right, so yeah, guys, it seems like this is gonna be it. I'm trying to see if there's uh, any more updates. Yeah, so this is gonna be it, guys. But uh, leave comments down below. What do you think about this one here? Once again. Shocking information. And that is a very high, high alert. So again, guys, uh, I would keep it updated on this story, but this one here, this is a, uh, this is very powerful, very, very powerful. I'm just double checking here, but uh, yeah, it seems like this is gonna be all the information for tonight, and um, yeah. And <clears throat> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end it right here. 
Um, but uh, please pray for those families and friends that lost their loved ones in uh, Baltimore. Uh, Coast Guard tried to do their very best. Uh, it's not easy to uh, try to rescue those um, in that bridge collapse, especially with the debris and the metals and stuff like that. It's not an easy job. So, again, we are praying for many families and friends. Uh, please always be aware of your surroundings. Stay away from large gatherings. And, uh, yeah, we're living in really tough times, guys. And there's been so much signs being thrown out. So it's very important to look out for these signs and be prepared spiritually, physically, and mentally. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.